What is 99 plus 14? 113. And how did you figure that out? Because I, have my t I needed one more to get to 100, and um, I minus that from the 14, and I got 13 left from the 14, and I added that, which is 100, and I just added 100 plus 13. And I got under 13. What I've learned from doing these interviews has been a profound change in my teaching. I think for a long time, especially as an early teacher, that I would ask a question and I'd be listening for the answer I hope to hear. Instead, now, I listen to what the child says, how the child is thinking, what the child wants to communicate. So it changed my whole view of why I ask questions. Because I think in the interview process, you learn things more deeply than you can in any other way. And I've been teaching for years, so I've had class discussions, I get kids to write, I confer with small groups, nothing like one-on-one -on -one seeking to understand how you really think. What amazes me about these interviews is that I always am surprised. I come in with a certain kind of um, preconceived notion about a child. Sometimes it's because of a child I know or a teacher has told me. And then as I dig, I always find a soft spot and I find that there are things that the child doesn't understand. So then my challenge is, what does the child understand? Where's the foundation of understanding that I can build on so that we can help this child move forward as a developing young mathematician? Which is greater, one-fourth or five-sixths? Five-sixths, because um, five-sixths is, um, it's, it's closer to one whole. It's really important to me that the interviews give us a way to find out what kids can do, not to really identify deficits or gaps. I'm trying to find out where they are so I can help them move one more step. Teaching is hard, and I have to be able to offer kids experiences that they can engage with that will help each kid grow somehow. So I need to really know where they are. And so I want to find out. In the, in, so if I interview kids, I have a sense. What is one plus eight? Hmm. Nine. And how did you figure that out? Because plus means add that number mm -hmm. to another number to make a bigger number. I am so often wrong in my predictions about what I expect from kids. And that's the learning for me that's so important. That's the listening to learn. When I really listen to the child rather than listening for what I expect to hear, then I have the opportunity to be a better teacher.